Luigi's Casino, the fake world of Super Mario 64 DS that was brought to life. Super Mario 64 DS felt like a separate timeline for me when it came to experiencing Super Mario 64. I grew up with the original game, whereas other people may have experienced this adventure first through the DS version. And of course, depending on which version you tried first, your memories, interest, and passion for that particular version will more than likely shine stronger than the one you experienced second. So while I'm out here trying to figure out where this strange sky pinning goes in Super Mario 64, you have another generation wondering just where the heck Luigi's Casino is in Super Mario 64 DS. Two types of people focus on two similar but different goals, and Luigi's Casino is a bit of a strange place. We only get a glimpse into this establishment, but we can see that Luigi confidently deals here on the regular. But as Luigi stares deep into our souls, ready to best us in the various games we're up against, a strange story has brewed around this area. A story that I'm here to share with you today. I hope you enjoy this tale about one of Super Mario 64 DS's most obscure fake locations. So there isn't much that can be done about Luigi's deathly stare. One glance will give you chills and keep you up all night quite honestly. Unless you're like me, and indulging in a nice supportive bed. Today's sponsor Helix sent me out a bed set about two months ago and it truly has been a game changer. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to meet your sleep needs. I've been using their Dusk Lux mattress for a while now, and it's been absolutely great for maximizing the amount of hours I sleep at night. I took their sleep quiz online to figure out the best kind of mattress for me, and it was pretty spot on. I tend to sleep on my back, so I wanted something that was soft, but with some firmness. They shipped out everything to my place, and I was pretty shocked to see how everything just fits together with ease. I didn't need any tools to assemble my entire bed and frame. It all just locked into place and the mattress sprung to life completing the bed. It's super efficient and very well thought out from a packaging and assembly perspective. And of course, the mattress is amazingly comfortable. I look forward to sinking into its floof every night. All this gets shipped right to your front door. And if you're nervous about buying a mattress you didn't get to try in the store, they have this 100 day sleep trial to cover your butt. Basically, you have three months to make sure you love the mattress you bought. And if you don't, they'll pick it up and give you a full refund. Since getting my Helix, I've honestly been sleeping really great. My old mattress was just something we sort of picked up that wasn't really dialed into my specific needs. And with my old mattress, I found myself shuffling around a lot during the night to find a new comfortable position. But with Helix, I lay down once and I'm pretty much not moving. And that's been super refreshing. So if you're looking to upgrade your bed and get some quality rest, check out Helix by clicking my link in the description below. Go to helixsleep.com slash swankybox and get up to $200 off your Helix mattress. And a huge thanks to Helix for sponsoring today's video and supporting both my sleep and my channel. Now, back to Luigi and his dastardly poker face. Before we dive into the mystery aspect, first, let's set the stage. So gambling in Mario games isn't something new, and that's what makes this whole Luigi in a casino thing pretty normal. I remember the first time I discovered Great Guy's Casino in Super Mario RPG. I was absolutely blown away. Somehow I missed the secret casino completely on my first playthrough, and given how obscure it is to find, I totally understand how I missed it. Fast forward to Super Mario Sunshine, and we have a full-fledged casino that we can explore in a true 3D Mario environment, complete with sit-down slots and even slot machines that Mario can rig with Flood. Did I mention there's a pipe to a parallel universe in the back? Can't have a casino without that. So only two years after this casino in Super Mario Sunshine, we find Luigi springing up in Super Mario 64 DS, leveraging the same casino music. We can play Luigi in multiple games here, and each time he'll stare straight through our soul without even moving his mouth to speak to us. Telepathic gambling torture is Luigi's style. Looking past this master of nothingness, we can see a casino establishment behind him. Off to the left, we have slot machines and chairs, while lights, a starry ceiling, and another green casino card table are off to the back right. But let's put on our deduction caps here for a moment and look around this scene, because there's a lot of weird things we can infer. For starters, the only person we can see here other than Ouija is Toad, but we do know other people are in the casino out of view, simply because Toad is carrying drinks back and forth. Anyone who has been to a large casino before knows that one of the things they sometimes do is provide free cocktails to make you drop a guard some, to make you relax a little. So out of view has to be the remainder of this complex, but we'll take a look at this room as a whole in just a bit. Let's talk about Luigi here now. I mean, isn't this whole situation odd? Suspend disbelief because I'm literally talking about an isolated minigame in a Mario game. But there's a hint of sadness here. Luigi not only seems lifeless in his demeanor, but he looks so unmotivated and cold as he deals you cards. The lad doesn't even blink once. It's like Luigi doesn't have the luxuries of his brother who has always been on Peach's dime. So Luigi got a job. At a casino. 
For all we know, Mario is off camera just downing drinks and getting unruly, as Toad brings him drink after drink. I suppose the opposite could have happened too, depending on when this takes place. Before Luigi's Mansion, Luigi was penniless, but after, perhaps he opened up his own casino with those earnings. But I digress. For some reason, the charm of this room intrigued people, and I can understand why. The original Super Mario 64 hit during a time period when people did not know what was possible at all. We wanted more than the game had to offer. And because not everyone had the internet or strategy guides, we invented rumors and stories to breathe life into the game. So even 8 years later, I still think we wanted that same feeling for Super Mario 64 DS. Heck, if unlocking Waluigi is any sign of that. We wanted to know where Luigi's Casino was located within this world. Now, when the DS version hit, the castle was updated quite a bit, and this sort of bleeds into that whole comedic, but also interesting Castle Plexus mystery I talked about before in a different video. New areas were added to the castle, and old places, like the Princess Secret Slide Room, were simply sealed off and still left in the game. Yeah, it's still there, but it's just behind a door that leads you somewhere else. New courses were added, and the overall star count was much higher than before. So I can totally understand the appeal of hoping that a secret casino-based level was hidden within the game. And then, this idea was really amplified years later, during the Mario 64 personalization creepypasta craze. That wonder that people had about the casino was used to spoof up an entire fan breakdown of the level, tying it to other things found in the game's files. Take the Secret Slides wiki breakdown of the concept. Quote, Luigi's Casino is rumored to actually be a hidden course due to its appearance in several minigames, instead of there simply being no background like multiple other minigames. How it's unlocked is inconsistent, though some say it is tied to the unused 5-star door found in the files of Super Mario 64 DS, with the room it's accessed in possibly being locked behind this door." End quote. In Super Mario 64 DS, there is a graphic that is unused in the game's files that is a 5-star door icon, yet no door in the castle ever needed 5 stars to unlock. So the reason this door exists, based on the current build of the game, is completely null, and hence the 5-star door became the gateway to Luigi's Casino. The lore for accessing this fake world had been cemented, and the legacy continued on. But the thing is, even before that, Luigi's Casino was simply just a silly rumor. Well, that was until around three years ago. But before I explain that, first let's talk about what Luigi's Casino actually looks like beyond what we can see. Because quite frankly, it's far more disappointing than what one would imagine. Because Luigi's Casino, as a map, is actually just what we see. Our camera isn't positioned in a full room somewhere. The world only exists around the edges of the camera, and the room itself is cut off and bleeds out into the void. If we look around, there isn't much to see at all. This is it. The beloved casino that made everyone addicted to gambling as a kid is nothing more than a rift in the gray void, which makes this whole casino that much more depressing. But this also makes sense, because why waste the game resources if the camera never moves from the spot? So Luigi's Casino, despite catching our curiosity, is nothing more than a sliver of a room. But when a certain modder got involved, this changed. So a few years ago, a modder called Hailbot set out to breathe some life into the idea of Luigi's Casino. Taking the small sliver we see in the game, they first tested what this would look like as a playable map. Alongside this, they made sure to give our boy Luigi the dapper treatment. Of course, there wasn't much to do in this map at all, as it was just a small isolated section. So the idea was to give Luigi's Casino a bigger interior and add some short minigames within. When we first load up the mod, we can see that there's even a racetrack built around the casino too. The shells are overhauled and move really fast, which are perfect for this. Heading inside, we can see that the actual casino objects were placed in the far left of the room. Keep in mind, what we're exploring was just an early development build to feel out how an actual casino world would work and the work itself is unfinished in some regards. However, it's still neat to see this treatment even being attempted. It kind of felt weird standing in a room that felt like it could have been the full room we missed in the minigame. Both game tables lead to separate levels. Given that these green tables are card tables, I thought it was kind of neat that one idea was to create an entire map made of stacked cards. On the other table, we land in some sort of machine that was glass on one side. I wasn't able to make it up the machine, but it was pretty darn tall. Across the lobby, we have a room that has pinball machines within. And of course, you can't have pinball without Waluigi Pinball. This map is pulled straight out of Mario Kart, and you utilize shells to speed your way through the track. The rolling black spheres from King Bomb's Mountain take the place of the pinballs, similar to the pinballs that can be found in Mario Kart. It was neat running through this track instead of flying through it. And with this, Luigi's Casino was sort of brought to life. A level that was only a silly rumor and eventually part of a creepypasta actually had existed through the efforts of a modder. Quite a cool nod to the rumors of the past. But did you ever want to get inside Luigi's Casino? What other rumors were you obsessed with? Let me know in the comments below and perhaps I'll cover it in a future video. Thanks for watching and cheers.